let's get into growing your hair growing your natural hair period going to be basically how I retain length with my natural hair and how I quickly grew my hair in under a year so my hair has always been long like it was never the issue but I want to say around my freshman sophomore year my hair started breaking off really bad so my hair was growing but it was breaking off as it was growing so it was basically making it shorter but also making it seem like my hair was not growing because it wasn't retaining it wasn't retaining length that's basically like my main problem with my hair just my hair breaking off it would be little like hair strands in the bathroom like small hair strands in the bathroom so that was basically the main reason that i was like okay i need to figure out what's wrong with my hair and fix it because my hair just wasn't growing and it it wasn't growing it was growing but it wasn't keeping its length which is the main problem i never had a perm never have had a relaxer i was natural all my life um i want to say my hair started like growing breaking my sophomore freshman sophomore year of high school i want to say sophomore year of high school i dealt with breakage from sophomore year to senior year freshman year of college is when it started like it started growing like real fast real crazy so yeah that's a backstory of my natural hair i feel like that was like just like a basic background of my hair without doing a full hair journey because i feel like that's not really necessary like that's kind of like that all together so let's just get into these tips i want to tell you your tips but like these are just kind of like things that i figured out myself so yeah they're tips i mean i feel like i honestly feel like these are really like solid tips so yeah i have everything on my computer right here so yeah let's get into growing your hair growing your natural hair period now i feel like the main tip like the biggest one that really promoted not promoted but made my hair retain length is the fact that i did protective styles all throughout my freshman year of college first semester second second semester i only had braids like i only had braids and that's like the main thing that changed from high school to when my hair started growing in college i didn't wear braids in high school i'm, I'm also like straightened my hair had my hair straight um tried to do natural styles but once i got to college i did um box braids when i got to college i just did box braids just so i won't be in my hair um like before class whatever like i won't have to worry about my hair i feel like that really like kept my hair from breaking off like you don't like how would you get breakage from doing box braids you know what i'm saying like that's like the main thing um i had box braids that lasted it lasted like my whole semester i would just redo the front redo certain braids um i would have a lot of new growth when i would take my braids down i wouldn't um have like any breakage or anything of course i would have shedding because it would be like mad weeks of me not combing my hair but other than that, like my hair really grew off of just box braids. So I feel like if you wanna start with your whole hair growth journey, I would definitely say look into protective styles. It doesn't have to be box braids. It could be like cornrows, um, weaves, like cor like weaves are a good um, protective style. But I feel like box braids are my favorite cause it's low maintenance. I don't have to do anything. I just have to refresh it. Um, so yeah. Protective styles is definitely number one. Look into protective styles, go on Pinterest. With box braids, you're trying to get the color, the style, the uh, length of it, the um, the sizes. Like, you can do a lot with box braids. And I feel like I experimented a lot. I had um, ombre, I had like a blondish brown color. Like, I did a lot with box braids. So I feel like that's like my favorite protective style, but of course there's like a whole bunch out there. Just Pinterest it, YouTube it, whatever. I feel like protective styles is like the number one thing to look into, to retaining length and growing out your hair. So yeah, that's the first tip. Now, I started using different products. Well, one thing about me and my natural hair is that I'm very much lazy natural. I don't like, like now, 
because I'm so used to box braids. I don't like doing anything to my hair. Like I don't like wearing it out and especially because it's like thicker and longer now. I just don't want to mess that up and go back to it being like breaking off and everything. So that really didn't make sense to what I was going to say. Basically, I'm going into the products that I use. Products that I use that I feel like really actually promoted growth in my hair and not just retain length. I feel like what actually made my hair grow is the Virgin Hair Elixir. I like put something right here. I'll try to. It's the Virgin Hair Elixir. Um, I use that, I want to say for like, in like four months. And I feel like that really like, thickened my hair and made it grow faster. I, I, I wanna say it did, but like, I, tell, I know some people are like, products don't make your hair grow, da, 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 but I really think it did, like, I really think it did. Basically, it was this white, this white tube with like orange and yellow words. You put on your hair and it basically like, puts like a tingling, sen a tingling sensation on your scalp. You kinda just let it sit, whatever, let it sit. And I put it in every two days. I definitely feel like it made my new growth come in thicker and like faster. I don't know what's in that product, but I would definitely say check it out if you want to try try it. I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, Virgin Hair Fertilizer, or it's either Virgin Hair Fertilizer or Virgin Hair Elixir. I forgot which one it was. But from like your beauty supply store, I got mine from Amazon. I feel like it's more expensive on Amazon, but like I just wanted to try it out. So I definitely think that really did help with hair growth. Next product is Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So I'm gonna put the exact one that I use right here. It's off of Amazon. I think it's called like, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like mango, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, something like that. And they have different flavors. Mango, coconut, um, like rose, rose something, rose water, something like that. But it's a whole bunch of different flavors. I really think that really helped with um, keeping my hair strong underneath my braids. I didn't use Jamaican black castor oil like before, I just started using it in high school, but I really feel like it really helped with my braid, my hair underneath my braids, keeping it strong, my new growth and my scalp. I'll basically put it, this is this would be my box braid routine, right? I actually wanna make a video on box braid routine. <laughs> I should, right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a video on my box braid routine, but I'm just gonna show y'all will tell you what I do. So basically, I put virgin hair elixir on my hair. I'll rub it in. I go like this, whatever. Flip my head over, go like that. Then it'll start tingling. And then I would get Jamaican black castor oil and basically just put it all in my braids, like drench my braids in it and then put my put it on my scalp. The product is the Cantu, Cantu Lock and Moisture, Lock and Twist Moisture Cream, something like that. I feel like that helped also with my hair underneath my braids. So like I said, Jamaican black castor oil, virgin hair elixir, put all my braids, and then I will lock it with the cream. So basically lock method, I think it's like liquid, oil, and then cream. It's all really cheap products. I don't really, like I said, I'm lazy natural. Like I don't do a lot with my hair. I just moisturize it and do my scalp. So yeah, that's having to do with the products that I, that I think really helped retain length and grew my hair. Oh, and also for my shampoo and conditioner, I used the Aussie line. I think it's like the Aussie curly hair line. Um, it's cheap. That's why I got it. It's in the art. It's in the purple, purple container. And you can get like this big thing for like six dollars. It's really really cheap. I use the shampoo and conditioner. My conditioner shampoos are all. Um, moisture based and hydration based um i don't use foaming what's it called like not it's not sulfur but it's one of your shampoo um bubbles i forgot what it was called it's like a word for it but i don't have that type of shampoo where it um suds when i wash my hair um sulfate i think it's sulfate i don't know but i don't use that one i use a little bit of shampoo and a whole bunch of conditioner just because my hair needs to be hydrated to prevent breakage so yes that as well the next thing is that when it comes to my natural hair i do very low maintenance styles um in high school i will always be in my hair i'll always be doing buns all types of styles just playing in my hair so now 
The box braids cause me to do low maintenance styles because I'm not playing in my hair. I wash my hair, I wash it, whatever, and I blow dry it immediately. Like I don't do anything to my actual like natural hair when it's like curly. And if my hair is out and curly, that means I, I either flexi rotted it, bantu knotted it, twisted it, braid braided it, but that's like really, really rare. My hair is out, it's always blow dried. Like I don't let my natural hair dry and especially because after i wash my hair i always put braids in it or just do something where it's a protective style so blow drying it would be the best option the next tip is to don't straighten your hair a whole bunch don't put a whole bunch of heat on your hair um and try to stay with stay away from dyes and if you are doing that stuff make sure to actually take care of your hair and hydrate your hair and like I don't know, do like what naturals do when it comes to putting heat in the hair, like take care of it. Like I don't know exactly what it is because I don't really do that. I keep my hair in braids, but make sure your hair is hydrated. Make sure you're putting oils in your hair because doing that will lead to breakage. Trust me, that's how I got my breakage. I feel like the term straightening my hair and like over prop, like heat, like it was from heat damage. And I am putting heat in my hair, like I am blow drying my hair but that's only when i wash my hair i keep my box braids in for like a minute so yeah those are my tips on how i grew out my hair and retained my length finally my hair is like past bra strap length now i'm very happy with the thickness and the light and the growth of my hair thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell to not get notified when i post new videos because I will be posting new videos. I am getting, trying to get back on track. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.